The M4 Salama is the winning design of the 7th International Student Design Competition of the Worldwide Ferry Safety Association. This design was developed by the master students of the University of Applied Science Bremen. The ship is a safe and economical Ropax ferry for operation on Lake Victoria and Central Africa, especially in Kenyan waters. The vessel's name Usalama is Swahili and means safety, which was the central design goal of this passenger ferry. The optimized slender hull design is 123.5 meter long and in the waterline 20.6 meter wide, while the cargo deck area offers a wide beam of 27.3 meters. With a draft of 2.5 meter in full load condition and a depth to main deck of 4.9 meter, the ship complies with the requirements of the International Convention on Load Lines. Additionally, the hull is designed for an excellent seakeeping behavior up to sea state 4. The ferry's wings enable a six-track rail system on the main deck with a track length in total over 640 meters and a track width of 1000 millimeters, which is typical for Africa. This allows the transport of 30-70 feet train cars. The rail cars are loaded over the bow. Due to the ground level rails, the deck can be fixably loaded with a variety of trucks, cars, pallets, bags, livestock or other goods. In addition, the comfortable passenger area offers a capacity for 200 passengers and includes modern sanitary facilities as well as a service kiosk. Staircases and stair lifts connect the car deck with the passenger deck for an easy access. In order to protect the people on board, the M4 Salama has an innovative safety concept that meets national and international regulations, making it one of the safest vessels on Lake Victoria. Life jackets under the seats, a quick responding and reliable marine evacuation system and spacious life rafts which are supported by two fast rescue boats enable a fast evacuation up to 400 passengers to cover also possible overcrowding. The arrangement of accommodation and workspaces below main deck is designed for pragmatic and safe working and comfortable living situations as well as for short evacuation routes. The M4 Usalama is designed for line shipping between Kisumu and Dambita Point but can also be considered for tramp service between Uganda and Tanzania. Therefore fuel and freshwater tanks are dimensioned for voyages over several days duration without replenishment. The large void spaces designed as passive cross flooding devices to prevent critical healing in the event of damage can be used to store fuel tanks in case of conversion to LNG fuel propulsion. The design of the M4U Salama 4C3 state of the art Einmo Tier 3 engines of type Caterpillar C32 version B with 895 kW each to accelerate the ship for a service speed of 30 knots and enable a crossing from Kisumu to Mbita Point within under 3 hours. A power prognosis and wave pattern analysis were used to determine and optimize the power requirements. Also, shallow water effects needed to be considered due to the area of operation in the Venom Gulf. The propulsion concept features three azimut thrusters of type SRP270 and thus provide a high level redundancy as well as excellent maneuverability. For enhanced maneuverability when berthing and in harbor, a bow thruster of type Yastram BU40 will be provided. Three auxiliary engines of type Caterpillar C7.1 with 208 kW each are installed to ensure the power supply. To minimize the risk of fire, a safe and reliable fire protection concept is applied. The spread of a fire is prevented by subdivision of the hull in five main vertical fire zones. Active firefighting systems consist of a fire detection system in combination with the sprinkler system and the carbon dioxide fire extinguishing system in the engine room. Moreover, four firefighting monitors are located on the passenger deck and on the poop deck in order to protect the cargo deck in areas where the sprinkler system doesn't reach out to. Additionally, a great number of hydrants, hoses and portable fire extinguishers are positioned in suitable locations across the vessel. The ship is also equipped with a powerful ballast water system for controlling heel, trim and draft during loading and unloading operations. The advanced and robust technologies guarantee reliable operations and safe costs. Another unique setting point is the mechanical system for lowering the bridge and passenger deck in order to pass the Mbita Rosinga bridge with a challenging maximum air draft of only 8 meters. The crew is supported by a state-of-the-art integrated navigation system and a digital monitoring system. 
So the M4 Usalama allows for unrestricted operation on the entire Lake Victoria, offering interesting fields of application in the shipping market while focusing on the growing demand for cargo shipping in the East African countries. Safe operation on Lake Victoria is ensured by complying with stability requirements of the National Lake Victoria Regulations and International Stability Regulations. The excellent stability values are partially caused by the outer wings of the main deck, which act like a floating wing and additionally can protect the ship in case of side collisions. For safety in case of grounding and collision, a double hull arrangement with watertight subdivisions by nine transverse bulkheads were foreseen. This results in the survival of even large damage cases and gains an excellence attained subdivision index according to Zolas, which exceeds the required index by more than 25%. The efficient hull structure of the M4 Usalama is for safety reasons designed in accordance with the latest DNVGL regulations for seagoing vessels. In order to meet the criteria for ships with unrestricted service and at the same time to save steel weight, a longitudinal framing system with highly stressed parts like deck and floor structure made of high tensive steel were chosen. The structure is in terms of weight optimized to the minimum possible. This has been achieved by placement of large cutouts in the structure as well as reduction of the scant links of all components to at least buckling strength, not affecting safety. The attached bilge keel reduces the roll motion up to 37.5% and increases the comfort of passengers on board. Based on the scan lengths of the ship structure and all equipment components, the light ship weight is estimated to be 2250 tons, with the steel weight accounting for the largest share. The dead weight mainly consists of cargo, supplies and ballast water and accounts to more than 1900 tons. The effective full load displacement of the vessel in departure condition at design draft is about 4150 tons. Taking into account the existing transport capacity and the emissions of the relevant machinery components, the achieved energy efficiency design index, called EDI, is better than the EDI phase 2 required by the IMO. This makes the ferry a most suitable, environmentally and ecological friendly solution on Lake Victoria. This is also supported by the use of environmental friendly anti-folding coating for low resistance and a modern exhaust gas selective catalytic reduction system. A further ecological selling point of the concept is the envisioned construction of the ship at Lake Victoria by a certified shipyard. This eliminates transport emissions, saves costs and supports the local economy. So the ship can be built according to our estimations at an affordable cost of 11.5 million US dollars, taking into account material and manufacturing costs. The estimated annual operating costs are less than 3 million US dollar. Based on a service life of 20 years, a crew of 12 and solely cargo transport, a minimum price per transported rail car on the route Kisumu to Mbita point accounts to less than 100 US dollar. The earnings of the passenger tickets generate extra profit, which guarantees a fast amortization of investment. Finally, we would like to thank Dr. Roberta Weisbrot and the Worldwide Ferry Association for providing students with the opportunity to participate in the student design competition and thus to work on fascinating international projects and to help providing ideas and solutions for a safe and affordable waterborne passenger traffic in developing countries.